IP has changed dramatically within most organizations. There are a few that still follow the older model, but those are becoming far fewer. But IP organizations have been driven by probably three big things, right? Big data, we've heard the term a lot. It clearly applies in the IP realm. There's an incredible amount of data already out there, and it's exceedingly accelerating now in terms of the amount of data that's being produced. So we're going to see a huge amount of data in the future, and the only way to kind of maneuver through it is to become more sophisticated. Second, the, the case law, the changes in the actual statutes and laws have become very, very, well, they have created a lot of pressure uh, because it's become much more difficult to achieve results in terms of protecting of IP in a way that works. And so there's a, there's a, there's an ex, there's a, a complexity that's necessary um, and a sophisticated um, understanding of it that needs to be raised to a higher level. And thirdly, there's really a need from the business side now. The businesses are actually looking at intellectual property and viewing as an asset, right? It used to be that it was simply a back office kind of arrangement, but now it really is front and center. And part of that is due to companies like IBM and others having over the years driven it, driven it into a much more of a uh, licensing and an uh, acquisition and a sell-off asset. Um, what we're finding is those three instances together is driving a whole lot of pressure on IP organizations and they're gonna have to change and they need help doing so. Savvy executive teams are viewing IP as critical. Right? Uh, IP is becoming not only a weapon to be able to uh, to shield them from their competitors, but it's becoming a strategic asset that drives strategic alliances and decision making in all that they do. And so the executives, the C-suite, who understand this are looking outside at the, they're seeing in the news incredible, um, you know, uh, decisions with incredible damages verdicts. They're seeing uh, opportunities that companies are taking in terms of acquiring technology, acquiring patents, and they're seeing results of their competitors and others in the industry, and they're saying, why not us? What are we doing to accomplish that? And IP organizations are hearing it, and they're having to respond.